Fearing that the ILFS crisis will impact the entire financial market, the government made a dramatic move on Monday and took over the company, replacing the entire board. I have Prince Thomas here with me to give us a little more clarity on this particular situation. So, Prince, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, my first question to you would be, uh, why has the government made this particular move and uh, why involve the NCLT into this situation? We need to look at the situation that ILFS is in. Uh, it basically uh, borrows short term to right. fund long term projects and it is in the infrastructure space which is having a lot of challenges right now. And also this kind of structure ILFS has, it is pretty opaque. So there was liquidity problems in the company and that led to defaults. And we know that there are a lot of repercussion of that default, there was right. panic in the market um, and the government had to come in. And also we need to remember that in the AGM last week. The conclusion was not very, uh, say, didn't instill confidence among the investors, nor did it with the government. Okay. So it came to a stage where the government had to come in, and that's why it approached the NCLT. Okay, so uh, Uday Kotak has been uh, appointed to the board of ILFS. Uh, what all is expected from him now? Now, uh, the board has come in. Uh, it has to meet by October 8th, and it also has to submit a report to the NCLT by October 15th. There are a lot of things on its agenda. Uh, the primary would be to uh, raise funds because there is a liquidity crunch in the company. Right. Second would be to look at ways to monetize the assets that ILFS has. Hmm. And the third would be to simplify the structure of ILS, the organization, because that would be key, key to turn around the company. So we would uh, look at uh, steps and the initiatives that the board takes towards these three points. Okay, so now Prince, uh, even the LIC is going to be in focus now. Uh, it is the largest shareholder of the company. So what all is uh, expected from LIC? That's right, LIC is the key player here. Uh, one, because uh, not only has it said that it will take part in the rights issue to raise money for ILFS, but it is also only the pl only player which is ready to uh, extend a line of credit to the company. Right. Uh, so financing from LIC would be key to the survival of ILFS and its turnaround. Uh, overall, we also need to look at the role played by LIC. In the past, people have said that it has blocked deals because it wanted higher valuation. Mm -hmm. Now we need to understand what role LIC would again play in the future when such deals come onto the table. Uh, overall, yes, LIC's role would be key. All right, so a bailout from uh, the from LIC is uh, something uh, that is going to be a key focus and uh, Uday Kota definitely has a huge uh, task cut out for him uh, going right. forward. All right, Prince, thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Much. So financial help from the LIC is something that is going to be in focus uh, in the few coming months and Uday Kota definitely has his uh, task uh, cut out for him uh, when it comes to solving the ILFS crisis.